Good morning, Hudson Beach community. I want to thank you for taking a look at my video from last night. I had 504 people take a look at this. I only posted it in one place, and that was in Hudson Beach community. If you notice, my previous video had three follower, three viewers. I had four viewers, four viewers, one, eight, four, eighty. Here, 206. I posted this somewhere, and it it got legs. But the one here, 504 viewers and some really nice comments, and I really want to thank you. And I'm going to do a video on Hudson uh, by itself because people want content and we're going to try to provide it. So in Hudson right now, there are 403 properties available, talking about everything in the city of Hudson. Uh, right now, pending listings, there are 118 properties that are pending, and in the last uh uh, six months, there were 567 properties that went pending. Now, my focus on these videos has been uh, what's going on in the market since the hurricane. And since the hurricane 27 days ago, there have actually been 58 properties that have transacted in Hudson. And is that a lot? I don't even know. I, I, I Here, Ponderosa, they were asking 110, it sold for 100. 119 sold for 117 in Ponderosa, 118 sold for 118 in Ponderosa. We're not going to spend a lot of time on the non-flood zone properties because they don't need our attention. They're going to do just fine. Uh, we'll just run through here and see if anything jumps out. None of these are flood properties. Uh, Highlands is a great neighborhood. Usually it has acres. This was one to two acres. Uh, uh, a mobile home, three bedroom, two bath, sold for over the asking price in 11 days. If you have an interest in acreage in Hudson or or anywhere in Pasco County, uh, I love dirt. Uh, here we go. Uh, condo, 164000 sold for 148000 in 31 days. Uh, if you watch my videos, Parkwood Acres, uh, you'll notice that I tend to talk about the market, not as the active listings. If you're following the market, wow, look at this. They, uh, 235,000, they sold it for $180,000. The market is not the actives on, on uh, Zillow. The market is the solds. The, the properties that sell determine the market. This one sold before the, uh, oh no, this sold the day of the hurricane and then it flooded that day. My, uh, whenever I see these, I just go, oh my goodness. All right, this one was 175000 It sold for $225,000. $50,000 over the asking price for a flood home. Uh, Beacon Woods or Beacon Ridge did not flood. Beacon Woods did not flood. Gulfside Estates, this closed on the day of the hurricane. They were asking two thirty four nine. dollars It sold for two thirty four nine, dollars And you know, I, I didn't drive down Butler, but I know that uh, New York Avenue flooded right here. And it is very likely that this home flooded. And imagine closing on the day of Helene. And uh, I, I'm speechless. Lakewood Acres, Beacon Woods, Heritage Pines, 55 and older, great community. They were asking 275. It sold for 245. Uh, Lakewood Acres sold in six days. Lakeside Woodlands, interesting um, subdivision. Highland Ridge, a newer community, asking 279. Sold for 272. Beacon Woods, asking 279. Sold for 279 in 15 days. Uh, Berkeley Woods, Great Hood, Older Homes, 1989, asking 290, sold for 280 in one day. Uh, you know, let's uh, tighten this down because, as I said, all of my uh, content has, oh, this is in the last 27 days. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the um, pendings in uh, Hudson. It's 118 days. Let's go back 27 days. And there have been 61 homes that have gone under contract in Hudson since the hurricane. It's so great. Okay, Ponderosa did not flood. That's up there behind the Bank of America on 52. Glenwood Village, none of these flooded. Hillside condos. Condos are its own thing. 
um, because of the rising price of insurance and because of the um, uh, 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 because of the new laws relative to uh, condominiums, the reserves have gone up and condo fees have gone out of this world. My condo was three hundred fifty dollars a month when I moved in, and now it's um, uh, eight hundred and fifteen dollars. Now it's on the water, and we don't have very many units. All right, these are all flood zones here. I didn't comment here, but Coxwain's a flood zone. Uh, Beacon Court is a flood, a flood, a flood home. Sea Pines flooded. Here's a condo that didn't flood. Ten Oaks did not flood. Now, the new thing is we have to worry about freshwater flooding. So uh, what happened after Milton is its own uh, phenomenon. Now, when you come to town or if you're shopping, you must ask, okay, here's Beacon, uh, this is Summers, went under contract in six days. It is a flood home. You have to ask, here's a flood home. Was it, uh, did it flood during Idalia? Did it flood during Ian? And did it flood during uh, Helene? And then the fourth question you must ask is, did it have fresh water flooding during uh, Milton or post Milton. Okay, this is very interesting. This went under contract in five days at $245,000. And there's one in this community, another one that's a four bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage that's 250 for $5,000 more. You could have gotten two more bedrooms. Hatteras flooded. Mill Creek did not flood. Claudia flooded. This is a. Uh, $260,000 in 80 days. All right, so there's way too many in here to uh, to talk about. Um, but these all went pending after the storm. So actives, let's see what new listings came out in Hudson. 72 properties were listed in Hudson since the Hurricane Helene. This is a investor property. It's almost an acre, 0. 0.96. Okay, Britain flooded. It's been on the market for three days. Direct access salt water that fell victim to Hurricane Helene. Keel Court flooded. This did not flood. Cape K flooded. And they're wanting $152,000. And I, I, I'm sure it's going to go under contract. It'll be so interesting to see what it went under contract is at these are not flood properties shadow ridge hillside condos parkwood acres did not flood hundred ninety five thousand dollars condos gulf island beach and tennis resort i'm sure the the pool went under but the uh, parking lot went under but i'm sure that the first floor is high and dry and we're doing the actives 72 properties were listed since the hurricane, Viva Villas, interestingly, did not flood. At least I, I, I drove through the neighborhood. I didn't see any uh, debris. I talked to a lady who was on uh, Villa, and she said that it did not flood. But, you know, this flooded right here. And uh, sea pines, sea pines flooded right here. How did Viva Villas not flood? And uh, I'll have to do a study on that. I better do it soon because once they pick up the garbage, we're not going to be able to, the debris, we're not going to be able to see which one's flooded or know for sure. Adobe, $260,000. If you watch my videos, you know I'm big on talking about, um, uh, you know, there's two criteria when you're looking at uh, homes. If you're going to be in a, on the water and have Gulf access and you've got waterfront, that's a whole nother subject. But if you're going to be across the street from waterfront, you're going to be in a mandatory evacuation zone and in a flood zone. And you don't want to be, I mean, if you're going to get the amenity of being on the water, then shoot, you know, you're going to pay the premium for the amenities. But if you're not going to be on the water and you're going to be in a flood zone, that's one question. But if you're going to be in a flood zone and a mandatory evacuation zone, you got to ponder the wisdom of that, uh, especially in light of tens of thousands of homes being flooded. So uh, 
uh, keep watching my videos. And uh, now this one is a, did I miss this one? How about that? I guess I talked about it in one of my previous videos. Uh, I've got uh, waterfront on the brain here. Beacon Woods, Vista Del Mar. Now, Vista Del Mar flooded terribly, but obviously this home is a stilt home. And uh, and I think all the homes that uh, flooded terribly, terribly, the ones that flooded during all three, Ian, uh, Idalia, and uh, Helene, they're all suspect for being rebuilt. The FEMA and the county want them to be raised. Now, here's a crazy house, $340,000 in Country Club Estates. If it sells there, it'll be the highest price anyone ever got for Country Club Estates. Beacon Woods for three forty nine dollars for a three two two versus that one. And uh, anyway, I, you know, everybody's a critic and everyone who's looking at real estate becomes a critic. You, you can't help it. When you're analyzing properties, you you know, you're looking at amenities versus price. You're looking at location. You're looking at, um, you know, what can I get for my money? And here you're going to get a flood zone property that was three or four feet underwater and just listed two days ago for $400,000. Crazy. All right, we're going to race through here just to get the higher priced ones. And I got to stop. You can't be doing these. 20 minute videos, I'm told. Uh, the estates for $425,000, not a flood zone. Harbor Drive is a flood zone, and this home flooded. It's got some pretty incredible views off the back. Uh, but I would definitely have uh, made some of these waterfront views here. Here's the key. Look at that. See, the, the uh, drywall has been cut up to four feet. And uh, that's the. Uh, yeah, this is a great location. Uh, whenever you're uh, looking at uh, waterfront, if you note the way out is from Hudson, the main channel is the shrimp boat channel right here. So if you're down here, uh, well, Signal Coast has it has the one, but if you're here, it's likely you're going to come here. You're going to go across and come around to go out. So when you're in this area right here, I mean, it's an easy shot to go out to the Gulf. Um, Harbor Drive, $450,000 for a flood home. So here's some nice homes that did not flood. Heritage Pines, 55 and older. Rolling Oaks Estates, $660,000. Hey, this is my listing. $680,000 for a stilt home. Let's see, 71. Okay, here's the highest priced property in Pasco County. And look at that. And you're buying the lot, really, because that property obviously is not uh, consistent with a... Uh, look at that. Heaven on Earth. I ponder the pricing. $800,000 and this home did flood. I really got to stop this video here. Look at this. Go front. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, yeah, this is Arapaca. Hmm, interesting. Oh, there's a lot of properties, by the way, that will have a Port Ritchie address, but they're in Leisure Beach. Here's an Arapaca house. That has a Hudson address. Um, and I could talk endlessly about CDPs, which are census designated places, and the difference between a CDP and a postal address, and how a neighborhood could have homes that have one address, one CDP, where uh, the home next door has a different CDP. And if you want to know the explanation, I do too. Hey, Randy Jenkins, have a great day.